Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking a break from the RV windows and we are working on the bus door. So as you can see, we have these three um, bus windows that we left on each side and the rest is all stainless steel. We had finished getting them installed, we'd finished um, securing them, and we also sealed the, all the edges on the outside and inside with um, a s adhesive sealant to weatherproof it and waterproof it. So those are all good to go. Up next that we have for those are we doing um, some RV windows, which we're still trying to work out how we're exactly gonna install them. We have a little bit of an idea, but we just wanna make sure that we're feeling a little bit more confident. So we're taking a little bit of break from that. Also, it's supposed to rain for the next two days, like thunderstorm rain, so we didn't really wanna dive into that and then not be able to continue because of the rain. So we're putting a halt on that, and today we are working on the bus door. We are still keeping the original bus door. We're just gonna go ahead and rework it a little bit, make it a little bit more um, secure and more insulated. So we'll show you guys what we have planned for that. Also, we're reworking it so we're able to have an actual door handle, whereas if we weren't doing this, we would possibly need to just have like a padlock, and I feel like that would really be super secure. So we are reworking it. We'll show you guys what we're doing. We need to go to Home Depot and get some supplies and then we will be back and we will show you guys what we do. All right guys, so this is the plywood that we bought to go on the outside of the door. Um, we also have all of these one by threes that we purchased. Jeez Louisees. One by threes that we purchased, these will be stained and they're gonna go on the outside of the door. We got just like a natural wood stain right here. This is going to be the weather stripping that we will try to use. We got metal to wood screws, wood glue, angle grinder, jigsaw. So we'll show you guys what we plan on doing. Okay, so this is our current bus door, the typical bus door, which we have removed the weather stripping that went originally down there, weather stripping that is over here, and we had removed, there was like a handle here that opened the door for the kids, and we moved that. So the door itself kind of works like an accordion, and it folds in on itself. It's not the ones that open up like this, but it's like a Z. So our thought plan to be able to get this to be, just be one door and not have to be folded is we are going to use these metal, what are they called? Metal bars. We're gonna drill holes in the bus. We're gonna bolt them in like so, so the door can only do this. No more this. So we're gonna make it stationary and secure. So I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna do one down here. And then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do this thicker material here. I think I'm gonna do a cut that's like, oh, maybe I will. Go all like the way. To this. I think I'll be able to make two of those out of this. Cut it in half and put them like this. Because we need to be able to install a door handle lock thing on this side. Well, that's all the space we have on the outside too, so. And that has to mount into this. Well, which is going to be our door frame on the inside of the bus. 
Right, because otherwise if we didn't have that, there would be this huge gap in between right there. Because we took the rubber. Because we took the rubber weather stripping off. Because we don't want that. Um, and he's also going to take a piece of wood and install it in the middle right there just so then it gives it some extra support. Yep. We'll do the um, metal bars, which we just got those from Home Depot. They were already cut like that. Well, I already trimmed one of them up. I trimmed those up so I can see if it's going to work, and it, it definitely is. And this is the excess. So we'll figure out something to do with that. Yeah, so you can just get those from Home Depot. And then, so we're going to try to go ahead and finish it and make it look just a little bit nicer. We're going to put some plywood on the back here that will be painted. And then the front, we're going to do some like wood slats. So it just makes it look a little bit more put together, but we will be keeping these windows shown through. And then we're gonna do some weather stripping too as well. So this is kind of the start of the door um, and the security. Because I don't have a table saw and I can't cut down like one of those one by threes to make a one by seven eighths, which is the width I need. This is a one by two and we're going to basically mount it in the center of this, fill the gaps with uh, spray adhesive, not spray adhesive, spray, spray foam, foam, gap filler, um, shave it down. The metal bars will get mounted across here, in the, across the bottom and the top, and then it'll be secure. It will only fit, swing one way. Then we'll work on mounting the plywood to the inside with the holes cut and all of the slats on the outside and then finishing it with trim. Yep. Yeah. We'll play it by ear, see how it goes. We've got an idea in our head and if you can dream it, you can do it. So this is the bar that we are going to be putting across the middle. We're cutting it in half and it's going to have two points of contact on the door to hold it secure. It's 36 inches long so we're going to cut it just right in half. And we're going to use the angle grinder to do so. Correct.
just cover these holes and I'm not going to use them. Maybe I should fill them with that adhesive first. Yeah, I don't see why it would really matter that much. It's not like it's on the outside. Do like two here. A little closer to the center. Two here. Are you drilling the screws into the wood? No. Oh, you're not? No. I'm going directly through the door and I'm nutting. I'm bolting through and then I'm, hex I'm using those hex nuts to be able to tighten it as much as I can. Does that make sense? You're going completely through the door? Yeah. Okay. And then we're covering it with the wood. Did I do this backwards? That's back. Turn it the other way. No, yeah, you did it that way. No, yeah, you did it that way. So yeah. Be at the same point. One's just a little longer than the other. It's all right. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. And the reason why we're leaving that space right there. At the end? At the end is where we're gonna have for the door handle. it down as much as we want and keep tightening it. I feel like screws eventually they will just fall out. So one hole drilled. And a lot more to go. Here we go. Thanks. 
Okay, so what he's doing now is he's marking on the door where he's going to have to drill because we're thinking it's going to be easier for him to pre-drill a hole into the door and then put the hex bolts, those bad boys, in it to secure it. So we'll see how it goes. So the end of it on that bar was a little bit too long, like maybe a millimeter to two millimeters too long. So we're just removed this weather stripping that we had right here and we'll drill it in and then reattach the weather stripping. It's honestly only for keeping that hinge clean. Yeah, which is what we want.
finished securing the door <clears throat> that used to be a bifold door into a single door. Like it opens outward just like a normal door. So that was pretty much what we wanted to accomplish today and making the function of the door how we want it to function. Uh, next we will be working on the look of the door or what you'll look at and what we'll look at from the inside what you'll look at from the outside. <laughs> it'll look nice. It'll go with our theme. It'll be cool. Just stay tuned or you'll miss it. Leave us a comment, any questions you may have. Like um, and subscribe. <laughs> we'll also list the materials we used as well.